Only on 12 News, our phones, tablets, laptops, TVs, our watches even, and of course computers. They all keep us connected to the world. But sometimes consume just way too much of our lives. So what happens when a family gives up all their digital devices for 24 hours? Team 12's William Pitts puts one family to the test in our Digital Detox Challenge. We love our phones. According to the Pew Research Center, we spend four hours every day on them. Social media, YouTube, videos, photos, Instagram. Oh yeah, they make phone calls too. They keep us connected to everything, but can also be a little too consuming. So what happens when we give it all up? Hi there, how are you doing? This is Damian Nichols. These are Damian's two kids, twins, both high school seniors, and Damian's wife. They're ready to give up all their devices for 24 hours. We wired up their house with security cameras. Okay, this is where their entire digital lives are going, in the box. And confiscated everything. One phone, two phone. Okay, you, do, you wanna, do you wanna say goodbye? Okay, because let's get a, oh, the watch. There we go. There's more coming. Oh, the Kindle counts. Device free. That's a lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. Did you know you had that much? Technology it's kind of scary house. to think that uh, we have to be without that for a whole day. And they do. Damien's family is taking the digital detox challenge 24 hours off the grid. Who's nervous? Who's scared? All of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is going over there next to the camera. The camera is on a motion alert, so I will know if somebody cheats and pops this up. You guys know the rules. There's no TV, there's no phones, there's no internet, there's no technology of any kind. We also have challenges for you guys in the envelopes. So I will give you your first challenge together, and I will go put the box over there. Challenge one, make dinner and eat together. <laughs> okay. So when's when's the last time you did that? Uh, it's, been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Problem number one, no phones to look up how to cook. Problem number two. Yeah. It's been like two minutes. <laughs> Wonder what's happening in the world. <laughs> and with that stimulating conversation, we leave the Nichols family to the rest of their night. Except Damien didn't even last an hour. He lost his well, mind. Well, he went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he got bored very fast. Yeah, after like an hour, he like definitely looked in the box. Our security camera kept going off as Damien came back again and again, trying to get a look at his phone. And as the hours wore on, the rest of the family came looking too. The next day, we're back with the Nichols family after a rough night. We don't have an alarm clock, so we had to like dig an old one out of the closet and just to set it, and we had to figure out how to set it. Challenge two, play a board or card game. Oh my, I don't remember how to play this game. I want yellow. Literally did a lot of sitting around, staring at nothing. Um, the kids were out at the football game, we couldn't track them, so we didn't know where they were, if they were safe or what they were doing, so that was interesting. Um, hung out with the dog, <laughs> did a lot of nothing last night. That was probably the toughest part. We, we went out and, uh, Went out and had a couple drinks and came home early and laid in bed and just wondered when they were coming home. Damien and his wife usually know where the kids are by tracking their phones. Not that night. My friends disappeared for a minute because I went somewhere else and I couldn't call them and figure out where they went. So that was annoying. <laughs> I need to move up one. <laughs> you lose. The Nichols family had things to do for the rest of the day. Track meet, work, but also there was a lot of downtime and a lot of nap time. It was just so boring. It was yeah. like, just we realized like how much we, even when TV's just on in the background or your phone, you might not be on it all the time. You look at it every, you know, 10, 20 seconds. 24 hours after we started, the detox was almost over. Talk about the hardest part of giving up your devices. 
at the cross country meet this morning. I was sitting there with nothing to do the whole time, just in an open field, no music to listen to, nothing to <laughs> scroll through, nothing to play with. He yeah. can't tell you how he did because yeah, it's their times are online. And not being able to track them, knowing where they're at, that whole like emergency contact, that safety of it. Not being able to text my friends or like FaceTime them. And then also not knowing my schedule because I use like the like, calendar app so much in a day. Okay, real quick in the 30 seconds we have left, first thing you're gonna do on your phone when you get back? So like just normal text message app. Okay. Text. Text. Uh, call my boss. <laughs> Definitely text. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, go. <laughs> so the Nichols family survived. 24 hours later and a lot of talking and downtime. Are they glad they agreed to do it? No, it was quite an experiment. I'm glad we did it. I don't know that we would do it again. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, it was tough for them, but it would probably be tough for any one of us. But experts say there are really three secrets you should know about the device detox. First, overusing screens can be bad for your sleep and even increase anxiety. So some recommendations. One, limit your screen time after dark. Two, turn off the vibration for your notifications. Three, plan activities where you can put devices away and spend time with the ones you love. And if you want to try the Digital Detox Challenge, join us on the 12 News app. William Pitts, 12 News.